some of us work in a very active type of work situation or we have a very active day that may be more active than normal. For me, whether it's my day off or I'm working, currently in my current career, current work role, I'm very active. I work in what you might consider somewhat of an industrial setting where I'm on my feet, standing up most of eight hours, right? And so that means I am burning a lot of energy as I'm dealing with boxes and I'm dealing with materials and I'm moving things and I'm being active and I'm walking up to, what, ten to 20,000 steps a day, maybe more. And I'm going up and down ladders and I'm stooping, I'm bending and I'm doing all kinds of things like that. And I'm very acclimated to that. So, but I realize that it's very useful when I have fuel loaded up in the system or during my break, I can get that fuel charge for the latter part of the day as well as the evening. And so this is such a meal that I've put together that I... I'm doing it in an efficient way because if you're going to cook your meal the day of that you're going to eat, then you need to get up real early and you need to make that in such a way where it's still going to be warm by the time you do your break. And this is one such meal. It's um, it's going to consist of black lentils. Everything is organic that I do. I don't use any ingredients that, or let me say that in a more positive way. All my ingredients are organic and non-GMO. Okay, so all of my ingredients are organic and non-GMO. I don't do processed anything at this stage, including the water that I use, etc., etc. I don't use tap water, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, this is me cooking this meal earlier in the day, right? And so I got black lentils and also mixed in chickpeas. This is kind of my little attempt to bring together chana masala, dal tatka, all in one dish, right? I got green onions. I got red cabbage. I got um, a a couple of ingredients here, spices. If you've seen my earlier videos, you saw how I actually use coconut oil and multiple spices to bring elements together. The black lentils in this case are not sprouted, but they were soaked the night before, which gave them a much better texture and a And the thing about that is it's going to make it easier to digest. Digestion is the number one priority when putting a meal together next to nutrition and other aspects, right? How well will the meal digest? If the meal isn't going to digest properly, you might as well not eat it at all because you're wasting your time putting it in your body and it's not really going through the body the way that it needs to and the body is not extracting the nutrients from things like these greens which the greens help with a glucose balance and I don't have a glucose issue but just about everything you can think of has some element of sugar in it right Um, the different vegetables that you might use some of them are going to have natural occurring uh, elements of either glucose or fructose right And so, anyway, I am bringing the heated elements in with these greens because salads don't have to be cold, okay? So this is, to me, technically a salad that's mixed with a kind of stew. And so it's a mixture of two type of meals in one. Now, the trick that I do here is that um, I am on a more intuitive let's say cycle now with what we call intermittent fasting. I don't, I no longer do that strict intermittent fasting that I used to do. Um, I did strict intermittent fasting for almost a year for well, just over a year. But now it's like, okay, um, let's be practical. Let's judge our dietary needs on a day to day basis. Because while some people might think the body is a machine and like it's a computer, I'm not one of those people. The body is an organic mechanism that has to be tailored day to day, moment to moment to what's going on. And on this particular day, I was like, okay, let me make enough portion for two meals. And then I'm going to eat the first portion at the beginning of the day. And then whatever's left over is going to be the meal for my break later in the day. Right. 
And the reason I did that this way is because I anticipated a higher level of activity than normal. And so what I was like is say, okay, let's load up some energy at the start of the day early enough for it to burn. And then by the time that next break comes in, let's say four to six hours later, then I will be able to engage the bodily cycle in such a way where digestion will be kicked off and we'll have a nice energy flow. So some of this is experimentation on my part because I am not convinced that the science on these sort of things is settled. I actually go into science and I look into science and I spend a lot of time with science as someone who's spent greater than two decades with computers at a scientific and technical level, right? But the thing is, the intuitive aspects of your body, you need to pay more attention to that than a formulation or a a philosophy that has been written for the masses, should we say, okay? I'm just saying. So here I've packed the meal for what I would call the break, right? So I've consumed a portion of it so that, you know, I can have a sense of what the meal is, does it need any more salt, and at the same time, whatever's left, I have a sufficient portion that the body's going to easily recognize it later on when I eat part two of this during the break. So the meal composition here with the water, the coconut oil, the multiple spices, the black lentils, the chickpeas, the the chickpeas were sprouted, by the way. Red cabbage, which is the number one vegan anti-inflammatory element. The jasmine rice, the green onions, and the Walmart power greens are all useful elements to make sure that the body has at least a chance to, to source nutrients and energy. But as Wayne Chandler mentioned in his video, Soul Star Activation, digestion is the key. And making sure that this meal can digest properly is going to be absolutely fundamental to a successful outcome. So I hope you found this discussion helpful. If you have any more questions about any points that I've raised, feel free to drop them in the comments and I will respond as time allows, but I will respond in the fullness of time. I will see you on the other side and I hope you continue to enjoy your own dietary and culinary adventures should it align with what I've presented here. Thank you.